The, the, the game for the Wildcats, not ideal. And good for AJ Ogilvy, scoreless in the game on Thursday. Blanchfield, nice pass to Mooney. And the big man responds at the other end. Need to attack, get himself to the free throw line, use that dangerous floater, not just go for the three-point shots like he started this game with. He's Magnate in Blanchfield. He's wag staff rolling to the basket. Nice offense, Cats. The ball bouncing around. Perth retain it. Down low to Magnate, and then Travers off the two-man game. And heavily relying on their system rather than just the one-on-one -on -one native action on ball screens and spread the floor, and that's a bonus. And the Hawks get moving offensively. That pass stolen. Norton can lay it up. Officials certainly letting things go this afternoon. It is a different officiated game to what we saw in game one. Luke Travers blocks the shot of Tyler Harvey. Justin Simon, great patience, not forcing it up. Tyler Harvey is ready to catch and shoot. Steinel makes a nice cut and then dumps it to Blanchfield in the corner. Immediate response from the visit. Play and see here just kept curling, wide curl, and Justinian Jessup had to. I mean, he wasn't happy when he had to come out when that injury initially happened. And credit to him for trying. He knows how important this is, and he is to the team as Luke Travers continues to step up for Trev. Couldn't score, loose ball. Conrad. Threw it away though. White got it to Mooney. Nice hustle, Wildcats. Well, good hustle from Tim Conrad. But the last thing you want to do is throw it back towards the basket of the opposition. Well, they're four of ten as a team from the free throw line, and the Laura Hawks, as Hammer alluded to, have yet to be to the free throw line. And Travis finishing again. You have to wonder what role, if any, Mitch Norton's going to play. Mooney at the elbow extends the lead for the Wildcats. Besto hands off to Steindl, feeds it back to Besto and finishes off. Again, such patient and pretty offense. His footwork and, walk and movement without the ball is elite on display again. Look at Here that. he goes again. Just moves so well off the ball and reads exactly where the defense is trying to blow it up. It is. Three of 14 in the first half from threes. They're now knocking him down and this man here has caught fire. And the ball movement, the execution, and the footwork. Igor Kikoskov. And he's gone to his playbook with the last couple of sets that they've run. Outstanding desire and want for his team. Wagstaff and one cup. He's in a number of games, not just one, a number of games. Luke Travers coming out of the game and... Mooney, offensive rebound. Steindl fires away a second time and he's long again. There's Luke Travers on the oak glass oh, and put it back in. Oh, oh my. Cats before that. It's Travers just again crashing the oak boards, gets caught underneath the basket and still figures out a way. 40 seconds before that. White. Huge. Got that one. Massive. And knock it down. You can see right here, he's going to turn the corner. Emmett Nath trying to put all the focus on Clint Steiner, who's been a bit cold lately, but at that period where he just exploded. Oh, there's a bit of a breakdown as well. You're going to know where he is right now. There's Blanchfield. Oh, my goodness. Two guys who have really struggled. Bring his veteran in to try and close this one out. Conrad overcommits on Kevin White. Mooney all alone in the corner. Oh, my goodness. What a knockdown. Play solid and try and make him have to make a play rather than give him that advantage. And Emmett Nath turns it over. They tried to go for a little hammer screen. And here come the Wildcats again.